G'day guys, welcome back into another video on the channel and in today's video I've got 10 packs of AFL team because 2024 cards, I know I'm getting this out quite late um, and they've been out for about a month now but I have not been able to find footy cards generally anywhere, everywhere I've gone in my local area I just haven't been able to find it, probably went to about 20 places until they finally came in stock in my local news agent so I picked up 10 packs, I'm going to make a bit of a video on them I can't promise you this but I'll try to get a box break out later this year uh, maybe in about a month's time or so. We'll have to wait and see. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And let's get straight into this. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. First pack. I'll show you guys the back. As you guys can see. Um, so it's basically pretty much the same as last year. Except um, they've added a, a couple new things uh, this year. They've added the Magic Wild Tributes. Which I'm pretty sure is the four Magics. Uh, really. So I've got ten packs. Alrighty. Let's get straight into things. So... First pack of 2024 I've opened to get shit. Just not a bad rip. Good start. Alrighty. So we've got George Wardlaw. Matthew Philippou. And we've got a card craft of James Warple. So not a bad start. Jack Varney. Um, Scanlon's card looks alright. That card. Put that actually over there. The Scanlon's can go here. Uh, the silvers and commons can go to my left. Uh, so next packet. Second packet the video. Let's hope we can get some good cards. I don't know, really know what I'm hoping for this video, to be honest, but we're going to have to hope for something good. Jack Steele, Andrew Brayshaw, and a gold Eagles card. I don't know if golds are any good. They look pretty cool, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. So, golds are one in seven packs, so they're actually pretty rare. Alrighty, next packet. We haven't gotten the best of start, I guess, card crafts. And all that, pretty simple. We've got a Tommy Hawkins at the front. We've got Jeremy McGovern. Oh, we've got a rookie! Oh my god, Ollie Holland's rookie! Ollie Holland's rookie! Oh, how good! We've got an Ollie Holland's rookie, come on! Good start to the video for sure. We've got a rookie wildcard, they look sick! Take a look at that one. Ollie Holland's rookie. Alright, we've got plenty of packs to go. We've already pulled our first wildcard of the video. Let's hope we get some more. Ollie Holland's rookie wild card. How good is it? Alrighty, next packet. Making all those other cards look to absolute shame. Why is this so weirdly? Pack more St. Kilda. How many St. Kilda cards are we going to get? Jake Lever Silver. Nick Martin Silver. And a Shy Bolton Oddbots. The Oddbots actually look quite nice. And a Jack Chris Scanlans. Chris Scanlans. I'll put that up here. And we're going to open another packet. Let's see what we get. Um... Nothing can beat that Ollie Hollands uh, rookie so far for sure. We got uh, Mitchell Hinge, Jaden Short, and a Star Power. They look pretty cool. Of Noah Bolter, those Star Powers actually look quite sick, if I have to say so myself. Uh, we'll put all the comments and stuff to the side again. We've got four packets to go, so let's hope we can pull something good. Um, I actually like the feel of the paper packs. I don't miss the the plastic packs or whatever they're called whatsoever. Because you know, these ones are a lot easier to open and they're better for the environment, as everybody says. We've got a, a Zach Guthrie Silver, a Giant Yukon Silver, and another footy odd bods of Connor Rose. That actually looks sort of cool. They've done, definitely done a bit better with the odd bods. They look a lot better for sure. We're going to hope for, uh, I don't know what we're hoping for, to be honest. Uh, we'll have a look at the back. Let's hope we get, I want to see what the tr Magic Wild Tribute card looks like. Um, to be honest, but I doubt we'll get one. Because, yeah, there's only three other packets after this one. We've got a Scott Pendlebury Silver, a Tom Papley Silver, and another Star Powers of Adam Trelaw. Those Star Powers actually look quite sick. What do they say on the back? Nothing much really on the back. They've just got the stats from 2023, 2022, and 2021. Um, but those Star Powers definitely look quite sick. And we've also gotten a Josh Dacos uh, Scanlon's card. The Scanlon's look quite sick this year. Yeah, they look like they pop out, which I don't know if they're meant to, but they sort of look like it. What are Scanlon's? What are Scanlon's? I haven't actually properly had a look at the, the ratios on the back. There's a die cut one per pack and retros are one in 432. So the retros aren't as rare this year. Remember, they used to be the rarest card in the set. Obviously, we haven't got any retros. We've all got the cutout ones. We're going to hope for something good in these last couple packs. And another St. Kilda common in the back. How... How many St. Kilda commons are we get in the back? We've got a Will Ashcroft Silver, a Jeremy Cameron Silver, and another star power of uh, Jeremy McGovern. 
And then uh, Scanlons of Brad Crouch, just the normal Scanlons though. And these last couple packs, we've already gotten our one per box, which is I guess pretty good for the video. Uh, so let's hope for something good. I swear we've already gotten a lamb tough and uh, silver, but that's all right. Oscar Allen, silver. James Warple, silver. And we've got a majestic card craft of Toby Green. Haven't gotten one of those just yet. Last pack of the video. Let's hope something good. This feels actually a bit heavy. I'm not going to lie. This pack felt heavy as well. I'm not going to lie as well. So let's hope we can pull something pretty good in these last couple packs. Well, this last pack, actually. Uh, but we'll have to see. Alrighty. Here we go. Last pack at my goat, Isaac Rankin. One of my favorite Crows players for sure. Mason Redmond and a... I don't know if this is any good. A best and fairest of Tim Kelly. Um, and a Scanlon's... Oh, no, uh, uh, yeah. Scanlon's of Maxi King. We'll have a look. That actually looks sort of cool. I'll put this over here. Tim Kelly, we've already pulled him as well. We'll have a look what the ratio uh, ratio is for the best and fairest. They're one in every eight packs of silver ones. And the gold ones are one in every 40 packs. That looks like a normal silver one. Um, they actually look pretty clean. Because that writing looks pretty cool. Um... We'll put that away to the side. We'll go through what we've got. So we've got a Tim Kelly uh, Best and Ferris, a Tim Kelly Gold, an Ollie Hollands uh, Rookie Wild Card. That's the best pull we've got in the video. A James Warple Card Craft. What's the difference between the Card Crafts and the Majestics? Let's have a look. One in every six packs, the silver ones, and the gold ones are one in every... 864. So we've got a James Warple card craft and a Toby Green Majestic card craft. These ones look pretty cool because I like how they put the colours in the background. It makes it look quite sick. We've got a Jerry McGovern star power and Adam Trelaw star power and a Noah Bolter star power along with our two footy odd bods of Shy Bolton and Connor Rose. They look quite sick in my opinion. I'll show you all the scanlers quickly as well. Um, so we've got a Max King Scanlans, a Mason Redmond Scanlans, a Brad Crouch Scanlans, Josh Dacos Scanlans, Tom Stewart Scanlans, uh, Nick Larkey, we've got Jack Crisp, we've got um, Rory Laird, Jai Newcomb, Jack Viney, and uh, I'm pretty sure that is it. Yep, that is it. They are all the cards I pulled in this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy footy card videos. I guess you can say are back for me at least. They were back for quite a lot of people about a month ago, honestly. I'm pretty happy with the one I pulled, to be honest, out of my 10 packs. If you can please like and subscribe to the channel as well, I'd really appreciate that a lot. Um, and I'll see you guys in another video. We've got videos coming out in the next four or five days. So just be ready for all that. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of really good content ideas coming in the coming of weeks, which I'm pretty excited to execute. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.